myself tonight. I'm losing myself. I'm losing. I'm losing myself tonight. With your love. With your love. I'm losing myself. I'm losing myself. I'm losing. I'm losing myself tonight. So you can do this a little bit thicker if you want to. This is pretty good consistency. Maybe a little bit. Put it back in the corner. It tastes nice. You put them on top. It kind of cools it down. Very nice. I'd say that's all I'm doing. So if I'm doing that, I'll stop it up. Put it on the right now. Sauce. So but I didn't like it yesterday. But I did try this before and it was like pretty good. So I'm going to continue this one. up a little bit later on, but I'm getting enough food in throughout my day right now that I don't need over 100 grams of oats. So 80 grams of oats, that's what kind of like makes like the flour in the batter when you're blending it. And then put half a banana, that is protein powder. I typically do like three quarters of a scoop of, I like to use my bum protein. I use this if I want it to be like vanilla flavored or sometimes I like a little more chocolate. Using the Jack Factory chocolate peanut butter one, it tastes crack like too. Finally, I like to put vanilla extract in, especially when I'm doing vanilla flavored protein because this stuff just makes it taste really good. I like to put like a dash or two of almond milk in there. I don't know how much, again, I don't measure it, so you guys can just like try and guess how much I'm putting in. But it just makes the texture when they cook a little thinner and to me, a little nicer and easier to eat. It's like a random amount of almond milk in there. Final product is I just throw some peanut butter on there. That's breakfast. I'm gonna enjoy this right now. Meal number four is underway. So, good old fish for you. Low calorie, but it's good for you. Cardio in the off season is tip number two in this little clip to help you eat more. Everybody wants to talk about drugs. Everybody wants to say, oh, this guy, look, he looks amazing. It's gotta be from, you know, he's so crazy enhanced. He's probably taking everything under the sun. And I turn around and I tell people, what the end at the end of the day what it's really about it's about training and nutrition because those guys that are relying on that are going to be around for a very short period of time because you can't buy gains in a bottle and if you do it's a very short period of time and they're going to be a flash in the pan and they're gone you see these guys and they come in and then they come in the bigger they are the, the harder they fall people want a shortcut and they want to buy solutions. You can't buy those kinds of solutions. It doesn't work that way. It really doesn't. There's no tooth fairy, there's no Santa Claus, and drugs do not make an athlete. The training and the nutrition are the most important aspects of bodybuilding. That's what really dictates, along with consistency. And people think that, hey, listen, it's just genetics, or it's just drugs, or it's just this, or it's just that. It's not, it's not.
It's hard work busting your ass and doing the kind of shit that other people are not willing to do. You could take all the drugs in the world, growth hormone, testosterone, this, that. Number one, you've got to train. Training is the most important. Number two is food. You've got to eat all that. Uh, you know, people think, oh, you know, if I go take all these drugs, I'm going to be huge or this or that. No, 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 no. It's all about training and diet. That's what it's really about. And then, obviously, the rest of it all comes through being disciplined. So, guys, everybody who thinks that these guys all look their, the way that they do because of drugs, you guys are all wrong. It's not. Because if that was the case, anybody with a thick wallet could go buy a bunch of gear and they're going to look huge and ripped and all that. And that doesn't happen. It's through hard work. you got to train and you got to eat right. That's the bottom line.